Thank you. Thank you also for the invitation to the Delphi Economic Forum. Uh, it's a real pleasure to meet many friends here. Uh, I see uh, uh, many people with whom I have uh, shared uh, several uh, political and European experience, and uh, so, I mean, it's a real, it's a real pleasure. I, I, st I start from, uh, from, from where uh, Pedro Sanchez stopped, because it is true uh, that uh, um, strat talking about structural reforms uh, uh, to the Italian middle class and to the Italian workers today has become much more difficult, but unfortunately not for the adjective structural, but for the word reform. And this makes uh, our job even more difficult. In the sense that, uh, as uh, you uh, rightly uh, said in your, in your synthesis of uh, Pedro's uh, intervention, we all know here in this room that the problem of structural reforms, which for me, in fact, it is a synonym of serious reform, reform which makes the difference in the medium long run, uh, the problem that they make you suffer in the, in the short run. And if you do not find uh, accompanying policy, flanking policies, which uh, uh, strike a, an acceptable social balance in the short run, uh, you find yourself in a structural trap, which means you find and you meet a very strong resistance in implementing the reforms, and uh, in the meantime, you make grow anti-reform anti populist movement, which makes you even more difficult to pursue in your, in your path. And this is exactly, in my view, in my analysis, the situation where we found ourselves in Italy. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, embarked, and basically uh, we, there were important reforms which has, had, had already been made before. I see uh, my friend Mario Monti. I just mentioned one of the reform, very important reform of his government, which is the pension system reform, which is now, today, make uh, uh, Italy's pension system the most sustainable in Europe. So if you take this, if you take uh, the uh, Jobs Act, the, the labor market reform we implemented, if you take the public administration reform we implemented, you see that uh, uh, we uh, have finally, in, in, the, in the last, I would say, four or five years, starting to implement serious structural reforms in Italy. In my view, this combined with uh, 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 corruption problem in some part of the countries, are the, at the origin of the huge growth of uh, the Five Star Movement, which is, by definition, the non-reform movement. So today we find ourselves in a, in a very difficult situation for this, because on one side, we need to pursue the reform process. Uh, on the other side, uh, we have uh, um, movement which opposed to reform and opposed to Europe because the European Union is uh, perceived and in fact in my view positively is a cut, a, a, an actor for reform, a push for reform, but you, we find ourselves in Italy in a situation where almost 50% of the political forces are against the reform which have been made, they would like to dismantle uh, the Jobs Act, the labor market reform, they would like to oppose to the implementation of the public administration reform, they would like to dismantle the uh, pension reform, and they would like to get out uh, of the Eurozone. This is the result of uh, a crisis which uh, has uh, uh, found Italy less prepared than other countries, but it is also the result of the seriousness of the reform we have implemented. And uh, this is why I am convinced, uh, and we are convinced, that uh, you need flanking policies. You need the social flanking policies. You need social flanking policies starting from the increase of the purchasing power of the less uh, favorite revenue. Uh, you need the flanking policy with the new uh, social, active social inclusion instrument. Uh, that is uh, the new uh, universal uh, system for uh, the, 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 the security that you need when, uh, uh, when you are in the labor market and you lose a job, uh, which we, have, uh, we, are trying, uh, uh, we are implementing in Italy. You need new uh, measures to fight against poverty, notably f uh, poverty of the families. And this is uh, a, a problem for millions of uh, Italian families, but I would say millions of Euro European families. Uh, and only if we, and you need, of course, uh, to bet 
even more on education, on skills, on vocational training, the reform of the school, the school, the education reform we have made together with the uh, jobs, uh, labor market reform are very important because on one side, you accompany the social uh, sufferance, which is increasing. On the other side, you are serious when you see, I give you, on one side, I fight against uh, social uh, sufferance, I fight against uh, poverty. On the other side, I give you opportunity. I really give you opportunity again. And give you opportunity again wor means working on the vocational training for the job, job side, on the new, on the reform of the education system. Uh, and uh, only, only if we strike a right balance between the pursuit of reform, which uh, uh, must make uh, our country more productive, more competitive, etc. And uh, of course, uh, this uh, encompasses also the ju civil, ju civil justice reform, the bankrup bankruptcy reform, all the things that we are implementing now with the Gentiloni government. Only if we do this, we must do this, only if you do this accompanying uh, social cohesion measures, you can uh, uh, win the battle. Because if you, if you do not this, we will a minority. And when I say we, I don't see, I don't say, and I switch to the second part of your question, uh, I don't see we Democratic Party, or we center left, or we social democrats. When I say we, I say oh, basically all the people who are in this room, all the reformers in Europe, if we don't strike a right balance, a new policy mix, we will find a minority, and the majority will be anti-European, anti-reform, basically conservative, after all, and, comp and corporatist movement. Because beyond the narrative, beyond the discourse, if there is something, if there is a golden thread which links all the anti-European movement, that they are deeply conservative, and they are deeply corporatist. And if there is a thing that uh, unites many uh, on the center, even on the right, on the center left, is the awareness that there are important reforms still to be carried out. So I'm talking to you a new cleavage, which in my view is not the only one. I don't believe, uh, I don't believe that uh, the cleavage between right and left is, is totally over. I don't believe this. I'm a good friend of Emmanuel Macron. I hope he will make it. If uh, the alternative is Marine Le Pen, I strongly hope we, we, he can make it. Uh, it, it, it the the, the right-left cleavage is still an important one, but it is not, not the only one anymore. There is a new cleavage, which is between conservative and reformer, and which is translated also between anti-European and pro-European, and which is translated also in open society versus closed societies, openness versus wars. And this is new cleavage that, uh, of course, uh, we must address, and we must address, in my view, notably at the right level. And the right level, the right level playing field, if we want to win this battle, it is not a national one, it is a European one. And this is why I do believe that uh, uh, at, at European level, we must, certain, uh, work for a, constantly for a majority of reformers which uh, correct uh, the mistake that uh, the European Union has, has made uh, during the crisis, correct the negative social impact which has become a political problem of the austerity measure. I don't talk about austerity today. We are getting out. We are getting out, not we have gone out. We are getting out. But we, still, we are still confronted with the poli social and political consequences of the austerity policies that were introduced during the peak of the crisis. And certainly, we are out of the peak of the financial crisis, but we are not out of the peak of social discontent. And to fight and to mm, tackle the social discontent, we must develop and probably I come back on the second round is a new policy mix at European level. Thank you.